Hey everyone, welcome to another video of Edusception. In this video, we solve ICSE 2019 chemistry question paper. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button, the subscribe button, and do share it with your friend. So let's start. Question number one A. Choose the correct answer from the options given below. Number one, an electrolyte which completely dissociates into ions is A alcohol, B carbonic acid, C sucrose, D sodium hydroxide. Now in the options you can see A alcohols and C sucrose are non-electrolytes whereas B carbonic acid is a weak electrolyte that partially dissociates. So the correct answer will be D sodium hydroxide. Number two, the most electronegative element from the following elements is A magnesium, B chlorine, C aluminium and D sulfur. Now we know electronegativity of an element increases while moving from left to right. So B chlorine will be the right answer. Number three, the reason for using aluminium in the alloy duralumin is A. Aluminium is brittle, B. Aluminium gives strength, C. Aluminium brings lightness or D. Aluminium lowers melting point. The correct answer is C. Number four, the drying agent used to dry HCl gas is A. Concentrated sulfuric acid, B. ZNO, C. Al2O3 or D. CaO. Now, the correct answer is A. Concentrated H2SO4. Other drying agents such as calcium oxide, they react with HCl gas. Thus, our option will be A. Number 5. A hydrocarbon which is a greenhouse gas is A. Acetylene, B. Ethylene, C. Ethane or D. Methane. Now, we all know it's D. Methane. B. Fill in the blanks with the choices given in brackets. Number 1. Conversion of ethanol to ethene by the action of concentrated sulfuric acid is an example of dehydration, dehydrogenation or dehydrohalogenation. The correct answer is dehydration as concentrated sulfuric acid removes elements of water from ethanol to form ethene. Part 2. When sodium chloride is heated with concentrated sulfuric acid below 200 degrees centigrade, one of the products formed is A. Sodium hydrogen sulfate, sodium sulfate or chlorine. The correct answer is sodium hydrogen sulfate. Number 3. Ammonia reacts with excess chlorine to form nitrogen, nitrogen trichloride or ammonium chloride. The correct answer is nitrogen trichloride. Number 4. Substitution reactions are characteristic reactions of, we know that it's saturated hydrocarbons. The options are alkynes, alkenes and alkanes. The correct answer is alkanes. Number 5. In period 3, the most metallic element is sodium, magnesium, aluminium. Now we know metallic property of an element increases while moving from top to bottom and decreases while moving across a period. So the correct answer will be sodium. C. Write a balanced chemical equation for each of the following reactions. Number 1. Reduction of copper 2 oxide by hydrogen. The reaction will be copper 2 oxide reacts with hydrogen to form copper and water. Part 2. Action of dilute sulfuric acid on sodium hydroxide. The reaction will be sodium hydroxide reacts with dilute sulfuric acid to give sodium sulfate and water. If you balance them then it will be 2NOH reacts with H2SO4 to form Na2SO4 and 2H2O. Part 3. Action of dilute sulfuric acid on zinc sulfide. Zinc sulfide reacts with dilute sulfuric acid to give zinc sulfate and produce hydrogen sulfide gas as other metallic sulfides do while reacting with dilute acids. Part 4. Ammonium hydroxide is added to ferrous sulfate solution. Ferrous sulfate reacts with ammonium hydroxide to form ferrous hydroxide and ammonium sulfate. If you balance it then a 2 will be over here that is FeSO4 plus 2NH4OH will give FeOH whole twice plus NH4 whole twice SO4. Part 5. Chlorine gas is reacted with ethene. 
इथीन रिएक्ट्स विथ क्लोरीन टू फॉर्म सी टू एच फोर सी एल टू डी स्टेट वन ऑब्जर्वेशन फॉर ईच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग नंबर वन कंसेंट्रेटेड नाइट्रिक एसिड इज रिएक्टेड विथ सल्फर सो इन कंसेंट्रेटेड नाइट्रिक एसिड इज रिएक्टेड विथ सल्फर रेडिस ब्राउन फ्यूम्स ऑफ नाइट्रोजन डाइऑक्साइड इज प्रोड्यूस्ड नंबर टू अमोनिया गैस इज पास ओवर हीटेड कॉपर टू ऑक्साइड वेन अमोनिया गैस इज पास ओवर हीटेड कॉपर टू ऑक्साइड रेडिस ब्राउन सॉलिड कॉपर इज प्रोड्यूस्ड नंबर थ्री कॉपर सल्फेट सोल्यूशन इज इलेक्ट्रोलाइज यूजिंग कॉपर इलेक्ट्रो इलेक्ट्रोड्स वेन इलेक्ट्रोलाइसिस ऑकर्स वॉट हैपन्स कॉपर आयन फ्रॉम द कॉपर सल्फेट सोल्यूशन माइग्रेट टू द कैथोड द कैथोड बिकम्स थीकर बाय द डिपोजिशन ऑफ कॉपर नंबर फोर a small piece of zinc is added to dilute hydrochloric acid now when zinc is added to dilute hydrochloric acid by the property of metal that is when they react with uh, dilute acid hydrogen gas is evolved number 5 lead nitrate is heated strongly in a test tube when lead nitrate is heated strongly in a test tube yellow solid lead oxide is formed which fuses with the glass e1 calculate The number of moles in 12 gram of oxygen gas. Now 32 gram of oxygen equals one mole. Thus, one gram of oxygen gas will equal one by 32 mole. And thus, 12 gram of oxygen will equal one by 32 into eight. Sorry, 12. Moles, right? Now four three zero four eight zero three by eight is zero point three seven five mole. Part two: the weight of ten to the power twenty two atoms of carbon. We know six into ten to the power twenty three number of atoms of carbon equals twelve gram. So one atom will weigh Twelve by six into ten to the power twenty-three gram, and ten to the power twenty-two number of atoms will weigh twelve upon six into ten to the power twenty-three into ten to the power twenty-two grams. So this will cancel out this six two zero two by ten means one by five that equals zero point two gram. Part two molecular formula of a compound is C six H eighteen O three. we have to find its empirical formula so we have to first find the ratio of the elements that is c h and o in the compound it is 6 is to 18 is to 3 well, now we have to find the empirical formula what is empirical formula empirical formula denotes the simplest ratio of the elements in the compound so we need to find the simplest ratio it will be now the common factor is the 3 so we are going to divide it by 3 Three two just six, three six just eighteen, and three one just three. So the empirical formula will be C two H six O. We move on to F number one. Give the IBC name of the following organic compounds. We have the first compound. We can see there are three carbon atoms. So the word root will be prop. As there is one triple bond, so the suffix will be ine. And since it is present at the first carbon atom, so it will be prop one i. Number two, we have two carbon atoms, so the root word will be it. It is a single bond, so ethane, and we have CHO group, that is aldehyde group. So we will have al. And since it is present at one position, so you can write one ethanal. Number two, what is the special feature of the structure of ethane? Let me draw the ethane structure. It is like this. So you can see the structure is linear, and you can also say the structure is symmetrical. Number three, name the saturated hydrocarbon containing two carbon atoms. Two carbon atoms saturated that is satisfied by single bond. So it will be ethane. Ethane. Number four. Give the structural formula of acetic acid. Acetic acid formula is CS three COH. So we have two carbon atoms, three hydrogen, right? It will be double bond and OH. 
so C H three C O O H. Moving on to G. Give the appropriate term defined by the statements given below. Number one, the formula that represents the simplest ratio of the various elements present in one molecule of the compound is empirical formula. Number two, the substance that releases hydronium ion as the only positive ion when dissolved in water are acids. Number three, the tendency of an atom to attract electrons towards itself when combined in a covalent compound is electronegativity. Number four, the process by which certain ores, especially carbonates, are converted to oxides in the absence of air is known as calcination. Number five. The covalent bond in which the electrons are shared equally between the combining atom is non-polar covalent bonds. Moving on to H, arrange the following according to the instructions given in bracket. Number one, we have potassium, lead, calcium, and zinc in the increasing order of the reactivity. By metal by uh, metal reactivity series, we have lead, then zinc, then calcium, and finally potassium as the most reactive. Number two, magnesium dication, copper two cation, sodium one cation, and H one cation in the order of preferential discharge at the cathode. Right. So the least will be sodium, then magnesium, then H, and then we have copper. Number three, lithium, potassium, sodium, and hydrogen in the decreasing order of their ionization potential. Now ionization potential decreases while moving down the group, so the order will be this. Number four, fluorine, bromine, nitrogen, and oxygen in the increasing order of electron affinity. Now electron affinity increases while moving left to right, that is across a period. Number five, ethane, methane, ethene, ethyne. You have to arrange them in the increasing order of the molecular weight. The order will be methane. CH4, then ethane, C2H2, then ethene, C2H4, and then ethane, C2H6.